Now, churches are testing out technology to try to keep their congregations together during the coronavirus outbreak. All public worship has been cancelled. So instead of people coming to sit in a service, the service is now coming to them. It was pictures rather than people in the pews here today, although still here in spirit, as this church tests the technology needed a new family. to bring a social distancing congregation closer together. We were trying to think imaginatively and creatively, uh, inviting people to send in a photo of themselves, and we've then blue tacked those photos uh, to the pews in the church. So we've got a virtual congregation, and we're going to carry this congregation with us for however many weeks this continues. Kingship and authority. Live into the living room of the Hutton family, showing that distance doesn't necessarily mean isolation. I think it was a really innovative idea of Nick's to, um, to have an online service and we all enjoyed watching it as a family, didn't we? Could yeah. be together. And the ability to comment as well. Yeah, like and get up and move around. Yeah. <laughs> People are continuing to worship in their own homes. As you've seen this morning, there's a lot of live streaming um, going on. Uh, this morning I listened to the service from Lambeth, led by the Archbishop of Canterbury. It's about how we keep people connected with one another, but not physically. Churches' doors do remain open to individuals, but while all public services are cancelled, it is now the internet helping to keep communities closer together.